I want like kids to look back on this time and not just think it was a weird time, but remember that I felt cared for during this time and I didn't stop learning during this time. I just wanted a curriculum that would remind kids that stories can be nurturing and restorative, that writing can be nurturing and restorative. Uh, and I wanted what we did with students to make space for their own personal responses, both journaling and creative, something where they would feel like their voice really mattered and it wasn't just like a lesson of the day experience as we make it through this time. Oh, my name is Steve Chiger. I'm one of the directors of literacy at Uncommon Schools uh, where I help manage curriculum and instruction. Uh, distance learning is hard. There's no, I don't know of a perfect way to do it. Uh, every system that I've seen has pros and it has cons. So one of the things that was really important to us was for all students, give them an opportunity to sort of self-adjust their pace to get extra help when they needed it and to be able to push forward when they were ready to move forward. We post videos each week uh, that support students as they're doing their lessons and we provide a work packet for students to work on, uh, which they can then access. They can write in their notebook at home and there's some deliverables they submit through Google Classroom. But in addition to that, uh, every week students, teachers have office hours where students can reach out with questions for support and for help. Uh, and there's also a day, the last day of the week, we have teachers proactively reach out to students who they might not have heard from yet. Online presents new challenges because if you're watching a video of someone who's not your day-to-day -day instructor, you don't have that same rapport with the person on the video. That a lot of students are watching this video without the context of being able to be in a classroom where you can read the room and say, let's talk about this. Let's pause right here. I see some of your brows are furrowed. Um, so it's really important for us to make sure that we're being sensitive uh, uh, to, to the, the world that, that we teach in and responsible about the way that we present content. So one of the things I'm most proud about uh, is that my network on Common Schools is sharing everything that we create uh, with anyone across the country who wants to make use of them. And you can find them at uh, www.uncommonschools.org backslash distance learning. I think the most important thing for us to do as educators is to, to listen first, uh, to gather feedback on what we're trying to see what works and what doesn't, and then adjust as we go forward, uh, and to, to Give, us, give, us, give each other a little bit of, of, of grace and appreciation and know that we're gonna figure this out together.